Point Thomas, or G as he's known to his teammates, has an all-round ability and personality that's really put him on the map, not only as one of the most talented riders in the pro peloton, but one of the most likeable too. We're here in Wales, in his hometown of Cardiff, to meet the man himself and find out where it all started. So we're here at your very own Golden Post box. When you look back, does it feel like a long time since London 2012 now? Yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago. And in terms of it being a home game, did it just feel bigger than anything else? Beijing, we were kind of in our own little bubble and, and didn't really get any sense of it. But I think in London, it was, you know, we're based in here, training in Newport just down the road. And so uh, it certainly, um, it built, you know, the weeks before it and the whole excitement of the games and stuff. So. But for afterwards, I don't think we could really uh, be ready for that, really. It was just nuts. And tell me a bit about the transition um, from the road to the track. It's like a completely different discipline now. Um, the track's so fast. It almost like it needs to take a few months preparation just to get back up to speed, really, from the road. You know, like you say, the gear in with, you know, the cadence uh, on the track, you're pedaling over 125 RPM. On the road, you can average maybe 70. Um, on the road, you're, you know, you're racing for six hours. On the track, it's, well, three minutes 51 we did in the final of, of London. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a quite a big change. So, obviously, you've ticked a lot off your list already during your cycling career. But what's next? What have you got your eye on? I think just uh, trying to improve on the road as, as much as I can, really, and go as far as I can. Obviously, being up there in a classic is, is a huge dream of mine. and um, But also stage racing, seeing how far we can take that as well. So. Um, just keep working hard and keep uh, improving, really. I'm getting on now, though. It's only a few years. I'll be hanging up my wheels. <laughs> <laughs> so next in our little tour of Cardiff, I think you're going to take me somewhere less cycling-related. Yeah, yeah. So, well, just around the corner is um, Millennium Stadium. So we'll go there and uh, try and get there as much as I can. So we'll go have a look. Yeah, check it out. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> Well, wow, it's, uh, you know, rugby's obviously massive in, in Wales and, well, since I was a kid, you've always dreamt of uh, playing for Wales in rugby or, you know, you're always watching it on the telly and coming here. Amazing sort of atmosphere here and uh, I always make the effort to come to one of the Autumn Internationals November time. It kind of makes it a bit more special, you know, when you got you got the whole, whole year building up to it, looking forward to going to a game and, um, yeah, like I say, the atmosphere is just incredible and it's just a real good day. Well, talking of special occasions, you're getting married later this year. How much have you been able to be involved with the planning of that again while you're on the road? Uh, it's, it's more how much I'm allowed to be involved with, <laughs> to be honest. It's, uh, it's a lot easier just to step away and let, let the organisation be done. But uh, I've actually recently sorted out the suits and um, went for a food tasting thing. And so I do like the fun bits, really. And did I hear right that Jeff Banks is actually designing your suits for the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he's obviously into his cycling and, uh, you know, has a lot to do with Catford CC and I uh, went to a dinner with him and, and that club and uh, just got chatting and that would be nice for sure. So I think it must have been on Twitter the other day. I saw a picture and you're about this big in your Mandy Flyers kit and you look at a podium of, I don't know, under 12 racers and they're some of the biggest names we see in cycling now. How much talent's come from this area in Wales? Well, a hell of a lot, really, you know, kind of started with Nicole, Nicole, when she was doing her thing. And um, certainly for me, that sort of uh, inspired me in a way, really, to see, you know, it's, it's not like you're looking at someone in Germany doing well, it's someone that lives 10 miles down the road, you know, it seems a lot more real and achievable. So, um, yeah, and then obviously in Sky, obviously racing with Luke and, um, you know, Paris-Roubaix and things, maybe even the tour this year, lining up together. and. Um, that's certainly strange as well, you know. I've, well, I've been in his front room dancing in my underpants, like in front of his mum and <laughs> nan, you know. And then we're lining up in in uh, Roubaix together. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly a, a nice feeling. Strange, you know. Becky James, is Owen Duell and Sam Harrison, and so uh, yeah, it's great to see um, you know so many young guys coming through, and hopefully it just continues to to grow. So. Well, of course, a big good luck for your big day and for the rest of the season. Despite the rain, it's been a fun day. Thanks for the tour of Cardiff. Pleasure. Cheers. Thanks for Cheers. Uh, coming. Thank you.